Hey everyone, how's it going? So this, this is the new MacBook Pro M1. Now, when Apple announced uh, their shift from Intel-based processor to ARM-based processor, well, it was an interesting announcement to say the least. Now we all know how good Apple can be when it comes to controlling the hardware and the software and optimizing it together. Well, just look at the iPhones and the iPads for that matter. So yeah, Apple controlling the hardware and the software on the MacBook was a very, very interesting announcement. But a processor shift is a big thing and is a difficult thing to get right. And when they announced the M1 MacBook Pro and Air models, they made some great claims. They claimed up to 2.8 times faster CPU and up to five times faster GPU from their eight core CPUs and GPUs. They also included they also included a mega 16 core neural engine for up to 11 times faster machine learning performance. <laughs> I know that is, that is insane numbers and claims. And let's not forget a whopping 20 hours of battery life from a pro machine. And to be honest, Apple nailed those numbers. They've absolutely nailed those numbers. To know more about this, we'll have to focus on three things. We'll have to focus on the three big claims made by Apple. One, the performance. Second, the battery life. And third, can be said about the app compatibility situation in the MacBook Pro M1. And spoiler alert, this MacBook Pro is fast, very fast indeed. It's normal for everyone to test out benchmark scores for single core and multi-core performances. And while many others, many others have done that, and the MacBook Pro has already nailed all those scores, you know, beating all Intel competitors in the single core and matching, you know, almost the 16 inch MacBook Pro and the iMac Pro in the multi-core uh, multi performances, it's very normal for everyone to test out those benchmarks. Throughout my, all of my uses, I've seen the same snappiness and reliability that you would expect from a Pro machine. Now, for gaming, although you're limited to Apple Arcade um, on all the Macs, but I didn't really find any issues even when I played Rise of the Tomb Raider. Also, the keyboard is super easy here. It's super easy to get used to, it's super fun to type on, and you know, it was more than welcome when they went back from the butterfly switches to the scissor switches. Typing is fun and keyboard almost got a new life here. I know people would argue that the touch bar should be removed or for that matter be replaced with the dedicated function keys. Um, I kind of don't have a problem with it, but still, yeah, people argue a lot about the touch bar. Also for the sake of research, I did all my editing on this 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro using DaVinci Resolve 17. Public beta that is. DaVinci Resolve 17 public beta is now out and yeah, it's the public beta is built for the M1 architecture, the ARM based architecture of the MacBook Pro. So yeah, I did all my editing on the Vinci Resolve and the results were very, very snappy, very snappy and fast. I did not get any uh, hiccups even using the public beta for that matter. Even when using a, even when using a public beta, I, I guessed this would need the fans to kick in. Uh, the MacBook Pro would get hotter when using the public beta and when rendering high quality videos, high res videos like this, with so many background rolls, B rolls, and so many cuts and everything, I thought, yeah, the MacBook Pro has to get hotter and the fans would kick in. But no, the fans never kicked in. The MacBook Pro ran cold the entire time, which I think allows the MacBook Pro to have sustained usage, max TDP sustained uses for longer, which is very good. Now, some might say, with all the snappiness, with all the fast reliability and everything the processor can do, some might say it would take a dip on the battery. It would, you know, Apple won't be able to back those 20 hour claims when it comes to battery. But no, they, they killed it. They killed it with the battery. They nailed it with the battery. It does last, it does last a strong 13 or 14 hour. Uh, it has to, it has to be, at certain situations, the screen has to be a cert at certain brightness and you have to do certain amount of things, run certain amount of applications for it to go for 20 hours. But, um, you know, without any restrictions, without you restricting yourself, without you restricting your usage, it would last you a strong 13 to 14 hours, which is, that is industry leading and that is one of the best batteries I've ever seen. 
on a MacBook or one of the best batteries I've ever seen on a 13 inch laptop for that matter. Now let's come to the caveat. The only caveat that I would say this MacBook Pro has. As I mentioned, I used DaVinci Resolve for my edits, which is in public beta DaVinci Resolve 17, especially for the MacBook Pro M1s. Some could, uh, the same could be said about Adobe apps. Apps like Photoshop, Premiere Pro are already in their beta testing phases for the M1 and stable releases are due next year, which isn't that far after all. Yes, there is a possibility for, you know, a professional or a creator heavily relying on one single application for their entirety of work, for their entirety of usage. And yes, there is a possibility of that particular application not working yet on the M1 MacBook Pro. If you're one of those professionals, hang on, wait for it, wait for it, wait for the app compatibility to come and then jump on the bandwagon. But if you're just someone who's looking to join the Apple ecosystem, or if you're someone who's just looking to buy a new MacBook because, well, uh, you love the MacBook or you like the Mac OS or the Apple ecosystem or whatever, if you're just an ordinary professional looking to get into the MacBook area, just go for it. You can't go wrong with this. And if you're a professional who wants that, who wants that one particular application to work on the MacBook M1 and work smoothly, just wait for it. Wait for the app compatibility to come, which will come sooner rather than later. And then you can have the M1. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.